Hey guys, going on? Trouble here today. We're gonna be playing some Farming Simulator 2019 here on the Rolling Hills map. Once again, we're not on the tournament map. Um, if you guys want to go see the tournament map right now, uh, latest update will be on my channel. If you want to go check that out, link in the description to that video or in the cards. It's over to my channel. Gonna try to get to 10k in a few months. I'll be doing a giveaway. I want to get 10,000 subscribers. So if you want to get me up there, get it kind of boosted and all that. But anyway. We have the semi full of beans. We have like 4,000 left over for all that. We're going to go ahead and jump in the combine quick. We do have a lot to do today. We'll start it up. And we'll first, we're going to get the header washed off. We're going to take the head off. And then we're going to put the corn head on. We're going to pick the corn. We're going to go ahead and plow the corn. We got to get plowed. We got to get things plowed, limed, mowed stacked all kinds of stuff we're gonna have probably a long video today I don't know I might make a bunch of videos today because I might be gone this weekend or busy or I don't know if it's gonna snow again or what's going on this weekend for sure but I might be busy I might not and we will probably just unhook that there I was gonna wash it but we can wash it the power washer sometime we can grab the power washer and rinse it off on the ground there's really no big deal However, we're going to hook on the corn head. Now, this corn head should be repaired. I'm going to go ahead and check it. Hook onto it. Start it up. Let it run for a little bit. Five mile an hour. Okay, so we're going to have to... I wonder if I could do this. I wonder if I could park it outside the shed and repair it from there. If not, I'll probably just run it five mile an hour. We'll go ahead and turn in. I'm just trying to sneak it in there like that. And we'll go see if we can repair it. Oh, we can't. All right, repair that for 300 bucks. I didn't know that we could repair it from out here. So that's good. Anyway, we'll get going. And yeah, $290 for the repair. Put some chain oil on there. Um, yeah, we do have sheep. We'll probably be buying some more. I'll probably cheat in a little more money. Buy some more sheep. Buy more of everything. We do have some wool. I'm going to cut this out first, or pick this out first. And we do have horses now. So we got sheep, horses. Going to be getting cows soon. Going to be getting all kinds of animals soon. Not pigs. I don't think I'll do pigs. Unless, like, everybody wants them, then I'll do pigs. But if one or two people want them... I won't do them for that just because pigs are kind of a pain to do they really really suck to do I don't like to do pigs it just seems to not work as good but we're gonna kind of pick a little area out we're gonna get this end picked out and then we'll probably hire a worker out okay so we went ahead and got like that little nook picked out I didn't pick it fully out but I'm just gonna hire the worker here let him kind of run back and forth along this angle. He should be able to get most of it. And we're going to jump in the semi, get it unloaded first. It's the next thing to do. The weeds did come through and kind of like destroy everything. So we're going to actually get in the old international. We did go ahead and fill it up, fill up the semi with some soybeans. Going to get all them sold today. Hopefully make a good amount of money, maybe 100000 maybe a little more. So we'll go ahead and take this in to the shop it is kind of hard to get around in the semi through our yard I think we're gonna have to switch maps soon and kinda redo some things maybe actually go buy a field and build our own farm kinda what squad does on the tournament and stuff like that on his let's play and all that alright so we're gonna go ahead and head up this little slope here we're gonna switch to the front hopper get that unloaded and I wish we could unload both the hoppers I wish we could unload both the hoppers it'd be kinda nice just to do both of them at once however you can't so that part kinda sucks we are getting a good amount of money though from them we only have like four thousand liters of soybeans left we'll switch to the back get that one unloaded and get another fifty thousand hopefully so we usually get like a good amount of 
profit off the fields. However, we didn't. We bought a new field, but we haven't sold. Did we sell that bean or that grain? Yeah, we did sell everything. So we only have oats in storage and like 4,000 soybeans. So I'll probably right now. Some guys. Somebody said you guys wanted a grain cart, and I will probably be getting a grain cart for next fall. It's kind of like a little hint for next fall. If we still have this map, if not, I think I'll probably just kind of turn this into an animal map and make it more of a, uh, like, animal map. So you have your cows, your horses, your sheep, maybe pigs, I don't know. Because this is kind of the setup for the animal map. And then maybe plant a f another square field to hay. And then, or I might make this our farming map and put, like, the new map that I'm going to make it so that it is the make it so that it's the farming or the animal map make either that one the animal map or this one the animal map i don't know which and then we'll have a farming map so we'll kind of have two series and then of course we have the tournament in the middle of all of that so i'm going to jump in the telehandler actually we should take the 7200 pro home first but i'm going to jump in the telehandler we're gonna take it to the shop. We got a new bale spear. Random Sparks's bale spear is. I went ahead, edited it, edited it, so that it will fit on the telehandler now. All right, so we went ahead, and went to the shop. Like I was saying, I got it to fit on the telehandler. I just switched out some things for it. It's actually under baling technology. We got this double bale spear. We got the telehandler. We'll go ahead and buy that. And then of course we did go ahead and get a new mixer it's this one right here it holds a lot more we'll go ahead and buy that buy that out and hook it on to the telehandler i'm pretty sure it will uh i don't think it will actually darn anyway we'll hook this on and then we might have to take a tractor and do that but the nodes are off on it that wasn't like that yesterday However, I guess it is whatever. I guess it does hook up, so that's good. We'll tow both of them home. Yeah, it it what the attacher wasn't like that yesterday when I tested it out. However, it is now. Okay, so this spreader, this not spreader, this mixer actually holds corn. You can actually put some corn in it. I probably won't do that. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and open up the doors. Now we do have the new Holland in here and we're going to okay so these are grass bales so they're pretty much worthless to us right now unless we convert them into silage which we'll probably end up doing we'll leave that one open we're gonna take a straw bale actually i think we'll we'll go ahead and take this up the hill because we're going to mow mow some hay we'll take it up here and we're actually going to drop off the mower up here in an area i don't, i'm not sure where but somewhere make sure it's on the mower so we don't like drop the loader there now it should be on the mower here we go drop that off and we will go down the road down here we're gonna put a one bale of straw in it and there's our one bale right there we'll lift that we'll put it in there we'll feed it with the t5 We'll probably end up having a dedicated feeding tractor, is what I'm thinking we'll have. So there's one bale, and then it kind of automatically mixes. I know that's unrealistic, but that's what it does. Even though it's not hooked up to a tractor. The helper sees getting close to full. I do see that. He is on corn, so he'll fill up pretty fast. We'll go ahead and unload him. But first we'll unload this, and these are 10,000 bales, so it should fill up pretty quick we'll get in the truck we'll start it up we'll go ahead and unload him looks like he'll be on his way down there we'll get him unloaded quick shouldn't take too long maybe he'll even get done in this video so then we could be all done with harvest that would be really nice to do we'll see how that happens oh I thought he quit he didn't we'll have to come back and clean this strip up and the ends that he missed see he's turning around in the road ditch probably not too good on the combine axles, but that's all right. Might as well break them while we can. Break them in farm sim, not in real life. 
Yeah, and drag the header and fill the header full of dirt and crap and I'm in his way, I'm guessing. See, ain't moving. There we go, kick it on. And he should get most of it. Okay, now he can put his auger out. We'll set our crews right next to him like this. And get it unloaded. So we're going to go ahead and get him unloaded. We'll probably have to wait at the end for him to get fully unloaded. And then we'll probably finish feeding, take the baler home, get the mowers hooked up, ready to rock and roll for the next video. Alright, so we basically got him unloaded. The front hopper is full on this semi. We're going to take it down a little ways. We'll go ahead and tab in the loader. We actually got to take this loader to the field. So we're going to go ahead and do that quick. I don't think they fed the full 10,000 straw bale in there. Anyway, we'll go ahead and go down the road, go to the hay field where we're at. We did stack them in rows of 16, and we brought the three home that were oddballs, so they're perfect. So there's perfectly three loads on that field right now sitting there. We're going to take the telehandler to the field, jump in the baler, bring the baler back, and then we will... I really want to haul it with the semi, so we'll probably wait till the semi is available. Wait till this is all done and harvested before we do that. But we do have to mow hay, feed some more animals, and all that. So there's actually a pile of hay here. There's a set here, there's a set by the baler, and there's a set back there. We'll probably start by the set by the baler. That way I don't have to walk very far to get in the baler. Because it's just right there. So I'm guessing we'll load them this way. We'll just spear them from the front, back out, move over, load them that way. This is the red bale spike. I don't know why it's moved up like that. It's kind of weird how that happened. I don't know why. Something's whack with the attacher on that because it was perfectly fine yesterday. Anyway, we'll start up the tractor, 7210, take it home, clean it up and maybe maintenance the baler because I think it was running at 11 mile an hour instead of 12. Alright so we got the baler back we're gonna go and hook on to the front mower here since it's already out we might as well get that hooked on I don't think we'll actually wash the tractor we'll definitely wash actually we don't need to wash the baler we can probably just leave the baler out we'll just go ahead and hook it unhook it right there so we can hook it up to this tractor again in the near future and we are going to be doing hay this time instead of grass because we're going to be getting cows. We do need to buy a silage uh, wrapper so we can wrap our grass bales. I think you can wrap only grass bales and have silage for them. I don't know. We'll test all that out when it comes because I never really remember. Maybe some of you guys know. Maybe you don't. But we're going to take this over to the hay field. We'll get this hired worker running and we do have to take, put the bucket on something. Well, the telehandler's gone, so we can't do that. I think we'll clean it up in the near future. But he's running. I think he's actually stuck in the ditch. We're actually going to go tab to him right now and see what's the matter. Oh, I see. The road messed him up. Go ahead and kick that machine on. Oh, yeah. He's coming out of a pretty big old ditch there. We'll hire him out. And then we will jump in the loader tractor. Back him up. Probably just put the mixer away for now because we really don't need it. And this is the one you can put corn in. It's kind of actually nice because I don't think you actually have to have corn there. I think you just have to have a little bit of corn. And I don't think you have to have hay or straw to have mixed ration. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but that's how it is. So we'll park this in here just like that. We'll go ahead and shut both doors because we're not going to be doing much for the rest of the video. Might as well close up the shop. Let's go ahead and check on the animals, how they're doing. We got cleanness on them, decent. We need hay for them, and we need water. We need water for the horses. Actually, I think we'll go ahead and take the Duramax. We'll start it up. And we will go ahead and back up. It is pretty rough in this yard. I kind of want to level it just straight out, like all the way across. It'll be a lot of money. We are going to be kind of upgrading a whole lot in the next few videos here. And, yeah, we're going to be kind of just really shooting up there. We're going to be getting some more combines, more implements, more land, and maybe some multiplayer people. But I think we'll actually do that on a different map. 
That way I can just leave the server up all the time. Kind of keep this one secret because we do have that modded planter. And there is some modded planters out there finally that are decent. They're pull tight. One of them's that eight row. I think it's an eight row. Pretty sure it's eight row. I don't think it's a twelve. Anyway, we'll go ahead and water these horses because they're probably hurting. There we go. Get that unloading. But oh, is he done? Okay, guess he's done. Anyway, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, hit that like button. And if you want to go check out some more FS19 videos, links in the description to my channel and in the cards above. And hope you hope to see you in the next one.